Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Koholim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekah HaKadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akhwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahshanan Nawaf. It's coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, was just, you know, thinking, um, the Scriptures talks about an employee should be paid every day. You're not supposed to hold on to um, a person's, um, matter of fact, let's get, let's get a quick Scripture real quick. You're not supposed to hold on to someone's wages overnight. You're supposed to pay that person as soon as the day is over with. You know, because, I mean, when you really think about it, Think about how helpful it would be if you were getting your money every day. You wouldn't need to borrow as much. You know, you wouldn't be, you know, people wouldn't be out here doing a lot of the shit that they be doing. You know, it would be a lot less stressful. You know, you might need gas and you got to wait a week, two weeks, you know, whatever. To and When a person, when you got money on, on deck already, but somebody is holding it, that's wickedness, man. That, and this is what Esau Edom, the so-called white man does, right? This is Leviticus 19 and 13, the law on that. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. So basically, if you're holding someone's pay, you're robbing them. You're defrauding them, right? So let's get this. Let's go off into let's get the Hebrew word for defraud. Because this is what the so-called white man has been doing for quite some time. A sock. A sock. H6231. To press upon. And that's what they do. They press upon you. And not only do they press upon you, they watch you. And then not only that, you know, you, you, you know, a lot of the times they calling you when you have to work. Emailing you after work, texting you after work. And you're you're still doing work for them, but you're off the clock. You can be on vacation and they'll text you, email you or call you about something that they're not going to even pay you for. Right. So it says to press upon, oppress, violate, defraud, do violence, get deceitfully wrong, extort. That's pretty much overall what it is, man, to be exploited, be crushed because you're crushing a person, basically, man, when you're not giving them, you know, what belongs to them, man. Again, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've had plenty of jobs where, you know, that was back when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Coming into this truth, you kind of make a little more wiser decisions. But it's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. But your average person, man, they they overdraw on, on their bank accounts. I think, um, I don't know what an ATM fee is now as far as an overdraft. I think back in the days, it used to be like $35. It could be, shit, ain't no telling how much now. I used to even do that. Just trying to just survive to get the paycheck. You know, my might, might have to overdraft twice. I'm seventy dollars in the red. You know, I used to do shit like that. So this man is—he's an oppressor, man. If this all this technology that America has, there's no—they're digitally depositing your money every Friday anyway, or every—you know—a lot of people get direct deposit. So why can't they just do it every day? What would be so hard about that? Why can't they do it every hour? Every. Your I'm hooked alerts. You should be sick. Whatever the amount that you're making has been added to your account. Every hour that should be clicked, there should be an ad up every hour. You're jumping in your car, you have your hundred. Hundred twenty, hundred fifty dollars, whatever amount you'd have made that day, you can go and handle business. But why does this man hold money? The name of white Jesus, Christianity, and shit, you know. Which we know there's some a bunch of damn hypocrites anyway, because they ship all the jobs over to these other countries. And shit. 
29. What I done was just basic, and my math is a little bit off these days. Um, but let's do this. According to Every, most companies don't pay daily because they don't have to. In the past, it was impractical and expensive for employers to manually pay workers every day. See? Why? Why is it manually? You should already have the money set. If you know that a person is there and you're paying them, you know, $10, $10 an hour, $15 an hour, you should already have their money set. Hey, your envelope should be already sealed. As soon as the end of that shift is over with, here you go. Your money should already be, be set in cash at that. But what does a so-called white man do? He doesn't give you the opportunity to even pay taxes. He takes them from you. He takes the money from you. A lot of that. But from the small hats, man. Right. So. Let's do it. Let's do a simple test. Two point one million associates, according to Walmart corporate, we employ two point one million associates around the world, nearly one point six million in the U.S. alone. OK. Uh, it says Walmart operates more than ten thousand five hundred stores and numerous e-commerce websites in 19 countries. So they're getting paid. A matter of fact, let me see. According to Statista, in the fiscal year ended January 31st, 2024, Walmart's global net sales amounted to 642.6 billion US dollars, an increase of approximately 6% in. God damn, you know that that increase came during the COV-19 along with, you know, the big box stores, you know, like Target, you know, the mom and pop stores got put out of business, but these people been cranking. These motherfuckers made them near a trillion dollars. <laughs> So six hundred and forty two billion dollars and they're paying people. I'm not I think I'm not sure. Walmart, do they pay? They might pay every day. I'm not sure if that's why I think they do. I think in certain. Let me see. According to the street, Walmart pays employees every two weeks, but the store does not print checks. So they're paying people every two weeks. So guess what? So now. Every two weeks, they're holding on to, they got 1.6 million. Hold on. What did they say? 1.6 million right here in the U.S. So let's do a quick little, little hookup, right? 1.6 million. Okay, so let me think how to do this. Okay, so let's say, for instance, they were paying them an hour. Times, you know, 40 hours a week would be $600 each employee right now we all know that everybody don't you know a lot of that stuff a lot of those hours being worked at walmart stuff like that they're part-time um they have a lot of senior citizens they have a lot of um you know um uh what how could you put it um impaired citizens so to speak you know what i'm saying because i've seen blind people i've seen all kinds of people working in walmart so we know that they're not in there just working a full 40 like that. But let's just say, for instance, they're working 40 hours a week at $15 an hour. That's six $600 a week. So $600 a week times one. Let's see. That would be 1.600,000. 1, 1,600,000 1, people. Is that right? Uh... I'm thinking I might be doing this wrong. But we know for a fact they're not. Because this is $960 million. That would be weekly. But I did see. So now let's see though. They said. Well I seen. Um, You know where they, they said that. Uh, okay so they're making $69 million Per store annually right. I did see that study. $69 million per store now they supposedly have what they say ten thousand let's see again i did see that earlier when i was kind of researching it just a little bit um let's go back here on this one
According to Walmart Corporate, Walmart operates more than 10,500 stores and numerous e-commerce websites in 19 countries. Okay, so 10,500 stores. They make 69 million per store, so let's times that. Times 10,500 stores. God damn! That's a lot of money. But the point that I wanted to make is seven seven hundred and twenty four million five. And, and, and you you have to know that when they hold money like that for two weeks, they're getting interest off of that money in banks. So really what they're doing is they're paying their employees out of the interest that they're holding on this person's money. Think about that. That's wicked as hell. That, that's what they're doing. If, if you got a savings account. Over a certain amount of time, if you're, you know, your savings is there, and there ain't no telling what they got going on, because you know they, they plus these people they get tax exempt shit, they're not paying their full share of taxes. So why can't they pay you daily? Why? Overall, me speaking as a man, they're not gonna pay you daily because savings or the the, the that interest that's being drawn, that interest that's being that that's, that that they're collecting off of your money sitting there. If you got 1.2 million people that needs to be paid every two weeks, that money is sitting there. They could take that money. They could take uh, 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 the, the money that the people have already made that's sitting there before they even get paid, waiting on their paychecks, and open up three WalMarts, four WalMarts, five, ten WalMarts. You never just know. But I'm just using this as an example of as how wicked Esau is, and this is just just one corporation. This is just one of them. A matter of fact, let's see. I oh, guess you ain't have that much to say about that, huh? Oh, so lucky. Well, you know they ain't gonna give you a whole bunch on that. But I mean, it's common sense. See, they're not putting it in there. And then they'll hold your pay for a week. What they call it? A week and a hold? That bullshit. I remember that back in the days. They still doing that shit. Anyway, though, you best believe that that amount of money, they're collecting interest on that money. So basically, they're paying you by holding your money because they're making interest off the money that they're holding that they owe you. So really, in reality, they're using your money to pay you. <laughs> This man is wicked as all fuck, bro. Anyway, though, let's just let's go on off into the scriptures. I, you know, a couple of the numbers I could have been off on, you know, but, you know, I'm just making an illustration, man. This man is wicked as hell, man. Let's get Sirach. Also, uh, this is um, Ecclesiastical. It's also known as the book of Sirach. Chapter 34, verse 21. Let's start there. It says, the bread of the needy is their life. He that defrauded them thereof is a man of blood. And we know that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is a man of blood. You know, he's the offspring or he's the progenitor or he's the, the, the reincarnation of Cain, the first man to shed blood on the earth. He's a man of blood. He doesn't care if your babies are crying, screaming, and they need milk, and, and need you need some cereal. You need gas to get back and forth to work. You need this or that. You need a loaf of bread. He don't give a fuck. He holding your money so he can collect that interest off of it. Then paying you out of it, right? It goes on to say, He that taketh away his right he, he that taketh away his neighbor's living slayeth him. And he that defraudeth the laborer of his hire is a bloodshedder. That's Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He's a bloodshedder just by holding on to your money. We already know that he's a bloodshedder. What the scripture says that he's, a, you know, um, he was gifted with the sword. 
a part of that sword on keeping you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans down is him defrauding you of your funds every day. It's not enough that they won't pay you reparations. They don't want to pay you reparations. They ain't all the hundreds of years of them uh, uh, of all the bloodshed and rape, robbery and pillaging that they've done to us as a people. They don't want to give you no money for that. But you and then they still taxing you. Think about that. They're holding on to your money for a week, two weeks, a month in some cases. Then they're taxing you on the shit. This man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. You can't get around it. That's why we go into Job 9 and 24. Let's get that real quick. We go into Job 9 and 24 for a reason, man. This man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? This man has set it up where you're enslaved still while he's telling you you're free. He's taxing you on everything. Matter of fact, when you get your check that he done taxed already, you have to go out into public with what he left you with and still pay taxes on shit that you're buying. If that ain't a wicked motherfucker, man, come on, bro. <laughs> you cannot get around this shit, bro. Let's get one more, though. James. But hey, but you know what? It's all coming back to haunt and, and it's, it is backfiring on Esau really um bold man because of the the lord is not mocked the shit that hey, this the, the things that you sow and hey, you're gonna reap esau edom the so-called white man as a race have sown a lot of wickedness man towards the children of israel a lot of wickedness man this man has cheated and defrauded us since we've been in his hands man but the thing of it is is he's telling you you're free which we know we're not free because you can't leave this country without his permission. You're damn sure going to have to have his passport, his IDs, and prove whether or not you roll your sleeve up and took all his goddamn shots and shit. You, you're not leaving here. So we know that we're still slaves, man. Anyway, let's get this James. This man is the fucking wicked, man. Oh, but we all have to. I don't give a fuck. You so-called white people that agree to this shit, pay your damn taxes. You so-called white people that agree to this shit, you get paid every week to two weeks. No, I want my shit today with no taxes. If I'm going to pay some taxes, let me pay taxes. You can't even say pay taxes. Because why? You're taking the shit from a person before they can pay it. You're taking taxes. Matter of fact, what you're, it's complete thievery. In the ancient days, people would pay taxes. They come by and you pay the damn taxes. These days, this motherfucker, he's in your check before you get to get your pay. And then he, you're happy about getting some some book. Then you got to pay a, a third party to tell you that you might owe this motherfucker some more taxes when you go to an H&R block or a damn tax company or some shit. This man, I'm telling you, man, you cannot say that this man is not the wicked, man. The proof is in the pudding. It's all there. James 5. Start from the top here. Verse 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. See, all these miseries are about to come upon Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Your riches are corrupted and your garments moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as if as if were fire, as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers, which have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. He's a bloodshedder. What the scripture says that a man to keep back, keep back your, your, your wages by fraud. They're, they're bloodshedders. This man has no problem fucking you over, man. He has no problem with, you know what I'm saying? You not getting your, the medicine for, you know, for your baby or whatever you, the case may be. You don't give a fuck about that shit, man. He's a damn bloodshedder. It says, Behold, the hire of the laborers, which have reaped down your fields, which are these these corporations, these jobs you go to, which is of you, kept back by fraud, crieth. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Hey, look, the Lord hear these cries, man. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and have been and been one time. Ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. Ye have condemned. 
and kill the just, and he doeth not resist you. See that? Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of, of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he receive the early and latter rain. Hey, look, this is what we're patiently and, and faithfully waiting on, man. You fucking Edomites to get your goddamn heads cracked, man. We can't wait till the Lord comes, man. We can't wait. This man is wicked as all fuck, bro. Here you go. You got inflation through the roof. You got the gas prices through the fucking roof. People could use really their money daily. If they were getting their money daily, things would go a little bit more smoother for them, even though things have gone up. And I'm sure if they gave you your money daily, they would turn shit up more on up because they know you got money on hand now. You see, this is complete wickedness, bro. That's why I say a blood shedder. You're a complete fucking blood shedder, man. Taking taxes all fucking year long and then got somebody all giddy like they getting. Oh, yeah. When I get my taxes this year, I'm going to give me I'm going to give me a car. I'm going to get this. I'm gonna, no, you should already have your fucking money on debt. Motherfuckers get all excited. They give you a little lump. You get a little, little, little couple of change. And then next thing you know, that shit gone the same because you owe bills. You owe people. You know how much easier it would be if this motherfucker was giving you your money every day to make your car payment, to make your house payment, daycare, all this other shit, food, rent, you know, that shit would be a lot simpler, man, if he was giving you your money every day. And guess what? By him holding on to it like that, he's able to take out more taxes. That's why people don't even know. If you do overtime, you're really just doing that for him. You going straight to work to work that fucking day for that clown for free. You're not getting anything out of working. That's why I don't work overtime. Fuck that OT. Nope. I'm, I'm, I'm nope. No, thank you. What to get an extra fifty dollars, twenty dollars, a tank of gas to come here and work for you motherfuckers for free? No, no, thank you. I'm straight. Don't take no payout on your vacation if if you don't take your vacations throughout the year. You take that shit. Get your money because guess what? If you receive it in a lump sum, they're going to take more money of taxes out. Why? Because they're looking at it as if you made more money. I've been there, done that. <laughs> this fucking man is wicked as hell. And he searches out a diligent search, man, to be wicked as hell. And the scriptures talks about how he um is going to. Uh... Yeah, man, this fucker weak, man, man. Look, we cannot wait, man. We can't. That's why we're so happy to see this kingdom fall. Isaiah 10 and 1, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And they do it by writing some shit into law, right? This is how Esau gets now. This is how we know that the, the Job 9 and 24, he can't get around that. Second Thessalonians two and three. He can't get around that man. That man of sin, that son of the son of perdition, being revealed in the last days. That's him. Because all the information is coming out to show you that's that's who he is. Yeah, man, we can't wait though. Straight up, bro. Micah two and one. Woe to them that devise iniquity. And work evil upon their beds when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. This is what they do. It says, and they covet fields and take them by violence in houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against this family do I by devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks. Neither shall ye go haughtily for this time is evil. Man, look, it's not a good look for you goddamn Edomites, man. I'm going to tell you that now. Because cause the Lord say, I'm giving to you double. You've shown no mercy. You've shown no mercy. You've shown absolutely no mercy to the children of Israel. Because the children of Israel are the ones that's really, you know, um, in the struggle, man. But, but uh, hey, I will say, Esau done enslaved his own people. This man don't give a fuck. That lets you know how, how much of a bloodshedder he is. When you don't care about your own people, that lets you know, man, that you are a wicked fucker for real, man.
See, we care for our people. We care for the children of Israel. Though we know that two thirds are going to be done. We praying that we're a part of the, the hopeful elect. But we do. The reason why we're out on these highways and byways is for our people. To let our people know to repent, man, because if you don't repent, why, why would you want to be under the oppression of this motherfucker, man, for another 100, 200, 300 years? Because he ain't going to let you go. He's going to constantly beat your ass over the head, man. Now he's 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 totally surveilling you. I just done a lesson on them surveilling the shit out of you. You need permission to take a bathroom break. You got to raise your hand and ask a question. You got to come on, bro. That's 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 not a. That, that's not a good state. That's oppression. That's being oppressed, man. The scripture says to envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. And see, when Jake get businesses, Jake should be applying the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh when it comes to pay to those businesses that they get. What do they do? They go into the same system of Esau. Want to pay a nigga every week, every two weeks. They got this money, man. That money is on deck. You made the money. You know how I know you made the money? Because I'm looking at the money coming into the business. It's people, it's customers coming in all damn day. Give me my cut, man. You holding on to my shit for? <laughs> anyway, we know that this is what it is because we're under the curses. I'm just, just showing you the wickedness of Esau, man. This is the wickedness of, of, of a wicked race of people. The so-called white, and especially those fucking, um, them, them small hats, man, that's over there in the Holy Land. That's bombing G-A-Z-A. Those are the main corp culprits in, in, in this type of um, um, usury. You're not supposed to. You're, it, it, that, that, that's usury to an extent of just beyond wickedness, man. You taking taxes out of a person's check and then you taxing everything that they buy with what you left them with. Shit is amazing, bro. Depends on what state you in, right? So I just wanted to just, you know, touch on this real quick, man. Hey, hey we, we need out of here. That's best I can say. We need out of here. We're going to run a righteous kingdom. But guess what? You Edomites not going to get paid shit in the kingdom. You're not going to get paid nothing. We're going to give you your little food, your little shelter. We're going to give you just enough to get your ass up and get back to work. Just like how you done us. That's what we're. That's what it's coming to. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.